Frank James, the Brooklyn shooting suspect, was arrested, and Tuesday's shooting incident occurred just one day after President Biden nominated Steve Dettelback as ATF director and unveiled new rules to crack down on gun violence. Cheddar's Natalia Ryzak joins us in studio right now with more on this story. That's right. On Monday, President Biden announced a new rule to trace the otherwise untraceable ghost guns. Here's what you need to know. Ghost guns are self-assembled, privately made firearms whose parts are often sold online. Since ghost guns are sold as unfinished, largely in DIY kits or 80% kit, people can purchase parts separately. Therefore, these guns lack serial numbers, making them nearly impossible to track. Hence, ghost guns. Between 2016 and 2021, the ATF was only able to trace around 1% of the estimated 45,000 guns recovered during criminal investigations, according to officials. And they don't require a background check. Some parts can even be made out of 3D printers. But this obviously doesn't make them any less dangerous. Ghost guns only account for a small percentage of firearms recovered by law enforcement nationwide, but are becoming more common in cities. In 2021, San Francisco Police Departments reported that about 20% of the 1,100 guns seized were ghost guns, according to data provided by CNN. In New York City, Mayor Eric Adams said that the NYPD has so far recovered 163 ghost guns this year compared to 29 in the same period last year. And the White House reports that in this year alone, there were approximately 20,000 suspected ghost guns recovered by law enforcement in criminal investigations. They say that's a tenfold increase from 2016. Now, Biden's rule aims to categorize individual parts as firearms in order to regulate them as such. So manufacturers who produce these kits must be licensed and include serial numbers on each kit, and sellers must run background checks. The rule also looks to serialize ghost guns that are already in use. Basically, if a seller, like a pawn dealer, gets a ghost gun turned in, they'll put a serial number on that weapon before reselling, regardless of how it was manufactured. Additionally, licensed dealers must keep their records until they close their businesses or until their license expires. This rule is already being met with both praise and criticism. The NRA argues that it's insincere, and a better method to fight violent crime would be to take the criminals off the streets. Gun Owners of America says it will fight the rule. But gun safety advocates, groups like Every Town for Gun Safety, says the rule can help combat gun violence. Well, at least 10 states and D.C. have implemented restrictive measures aimed at ghost guns, including regulating use, sale, manufacture, in some cases, they've even prohibited. So thank you to Cheddar News and Natalia Rizak for that report.